What's up, YouTube? Happy New Year, my ninjas. This is Strident. I am here to bring you a new concept with my videos, which is called a versus video. And this is where we're going to do the uh, absurd concept of heroes taking time out of their busy schedule fighting villains to fight other heroes in a more what if situation, you know, scenario in here. Um, I. Uh, we talk about this every now and then at comic conventions, and sometimes we just talk about it when we're at the studio working on our books, because sometimes you want to know. A lot of them, the ones we talk about, are archetypes versus analogs, and this is where a lot of people cop out. In this case, I'm going to keep it really simple. We're going to do Batman versus Cap. I've, I've, had, I've had this discussion since I was in, like, uh, I don't know, third, first or second grade. Um, I've had it at conventions. I've had it in the studio. I've had it all over the place. And I've seen it on YouTube, and I think people have copped out real hardcore because some people, uh, they're, they're too, you know, Marvel fanboy, too DC fanboy, or whatever. I'm going to distill this to the essence. The problem with a lot of these matchups is some of these characters have been represented in the media different, or in different media, different ways, you know? There's several origins for Cap over the years, but there's only one origin for Batman. You know what I mean? But there's several versions of Batman, you know? And I'm talking like DC Animated Universe versus uh, Modern DC Universe versus uh, some of those weird alternate, like, like I don't believe that Rest in Peace storyline was regular continuity Batman because Batman is so much smarter than some of the shit they put him through in that. Um, I don't believe the Final Crisis stuff. I think that's kind of, you know, it depends. But it's supposed to be canon, so we'll let some of these things go. In this, I'm talking about the Batman. I like the Batman from the DC Animated Universe the best. Because it's not like he just whoops everybody's ass. He figures out a way to level the playing field so he can whoop everybody's ass, you know? Which makes sense. That's what you would have to do. He has no powers. He's got to have an enormous amount of fight in him to do this. Captain America. Cap is awesome. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters. I liked the Cap from the 90s, the one that took on Thanos. Yes. The one that picked up Thor's hammer. Yes. I like that Cap, and I like Ultimate Cap. Because Ultimate Cap, whereas the, the 90s Cap was just super pure, and he was like the equivalent to Superman in the Marvel Universe, the Ultimate Cap is the probably what Cap would have really been. He's kind of uh, uh, naive. He uses whatever means he has to use. I mean, the Ultimate Cap was so well done that modern uh, Marvel Universe Cap started to look and act like him. They started making Cap use guns. They started making him a more soldier and less superhero type character. But in essence, there are things he would do, like in uh, the beginning of Civil War, when he took on S.H.I.E.L.D. and he was like surfing on the top of that plane and all that craziness. Those are classic Cap type things that are very super heroic and, you know, only he would do something like that. Okay, now I'm going to break this down simple because it's very simple. This isn't one of those uh, uh, battles where people, uh, it, it's about the fans who decide. No, the facts are in front of us. Uh, there are characters like... Uh, I said the, I'm, I'm using a DC animated universe Batman, who to me is the, the best of the bunch. And I'm using a little bit of the 90s cap and the ultimate cap. Now, if I stuck with one, ultimate cap and uh, the DC universe uh, animated universe Batman, they would fight to a standstill and then recap what they did and have fun and be, you know, probably laughing at one another or something because neither one of them had fought such an opponent. Plain and simple. It's like Bruce Lee fighting... Jet Li, if Jet Li were a killer, because Jet Li practiced forms, which means he didn't fight real people in tournament situations with full contact, whereas Bruce Lee did a, a little of both, but he did more actual full contact fighting. Now, uh, regular continuity cap, the pure-hearted 90s cap, I think as awesome as a fighter as he was, he was too uh, pure, and this is the fault that a lot of people have when going up against Batman. Now, if we were talking about the old school, you know, early, the late 80s, early 90s, Batman, it's the same issue with him. I won't shoot you. I won't kill you. So he would always get, you know, beat up and then figure out a way to, to, to trick the person. So he'd have to lose 
in order to win. So we're talking about the animated series, animated uh, universe, Batman here, who, as the years went on, especially in Justice League Unlimited, this guy would do his research to the umpteenth degree where you thought you won, and he would completely shit on you. Uh, I think he would pummel the old school cap. The reason why is because, well, old school and modern age cap. Um, the reason why I say this is cap has powers so he doesn't have to rely on you know being afraid and 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 out thinking everyone pretty much it's some of those things are the things that force a normal person to actually do extraordinary things when they go up against a ridiculous situation you have to be kind of scared to push yourself to fight harder and if you have powers that make you that much better than the average person you probably won't have that kind of fear or that kind of drive to force you to work harder because you're already there. You don't really have to you don't really have to work on having, you know, a high amount of fight in you because something else artificially gave you that ability and kind of put you there before you achieve that on your regular uh, under regular means. So, characters like Wolverine, who everybody thinks is like superhero Jesus, because <laughs> he can just do whatever the hell he wants to do and there's no repercussions because he can heal he doesn't have as much fight as they try to make you think he does at least not these days he used to back in the larry hama days and back in the 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 i don't know 70s 80s even the early 90s back when jim lee was doing x-men because they put him up against people who had similar powers and he seemed to have to fight and think a little bit more but that's another this besides the point the point is he, he, characters like that don't really have to they don't really have to, to try as hard because they could just fall back on their powers whereas a guy in armor pretty much can't just fall back on the armor because he could just get shot in the mouth or shot in the eyes or something else and it's done that's it you slip up once you're fucked it's just that simple so um you know we got an even almost an even match with fighting skills I don't believe in that bullshit when they say both characters have learned every single martial art on the planet because it's bullshit. How could you be in a block of ice for like, what is it, 20 plus years and wake up, 20 or 30 years, something like that, wake up and have mastered every martial art? It just doesn't work that way because while he was sleeping, more martial arts were popping up and gaining popularity and becoming more known to people and there's just no way he could have learned all that shit. Um, I know on the Wikipedia entries and in some of the books, they say Cap uses uh, kickboxing, judo, boxing, and gymnastics. So right there, you see he has his own style. It doesn't have to do with every martial art in the world. It just is pretty, this is pretty stupid. I mean, there's places that he couldn't, he couldn't even go and learn these martial arts because certain uh, families won't teach to anyone else but people in their family. There's some races that won't teach people outside of their own race. So uh, a blonde hair, blue eyed American coming to all these parts of the world just saying, yeah, um, I'm in the military in the U.S. And someday I might come and take over your whole fucking country. Teach me your secrets. It's highly unlikely. But, um, you know, Bats, you already know, he's trained in a whole bunch of random shit. Ninjas, nin like ninja style martial arts or... Uh, Concealed weapon martial arts, um, even whatever the weird stuff is he was doing in uh, The Dark Knight based on the TC system, which I think is bullshit in real life, but it looks good in the movie. Um, he's just done a whole lot. They said, I know in the comics he also did go to Tibet and learn all kinds of stuff. So, you know, who's to say exactly where, where what that encompasses? So, you know, he's got a wide range of martial arts ability. And then you you couple that with all the weird escape escape arts that he learned and uh, other things. It's just you know his detective skills, his uh, strange military thinking, where he prepares for everything to the umpteenth degree. I just don't think there's any way a soldier with powers, regardless of the situations he's been put into, is going to be able to to come at him with something he can't counter. Now, if it was just a straight-up brawl, I think Cap would probably pummel him because, I mean, who can outfight a super soldier? 
you know, super soldier who does not get tired. You know, despite what a couple of these cats here on YouTube have said, they've said uh, Cap doesn't have powers. Now, you need to read his uh, Wikipedia entry again. You need to pick up a comic and actually read and understand what was going on in the book because the super soldier serum gave him abilities. His body doesn't produce lactic, lactic acid, so he can't get tired or uh, there's no buildup of fatigue in, in his body. So he can do everything at peak uh he can work at peak efficiency 100, you know, 200% of the time. He uses his entire brain. He does everything at perfect efficiency. He's the perfect soldier. So that's a power. Something gave him the ability to do something that his body naturally can't do. Um, Batman actually trained to get to peak human efficiency. So I think it's harder and you're a little bit better when you work for it as opposed to somebody giving it to you. So it's a case of the size of the fight in the dog as opposed to the size of the dog in the fight. So um, I know a whole bunch of you uh, Captain America fanboys are going to be pissed off and get mad and say, you know, blah, 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 you're a DC fanboy. But I'm just calling this the same way I would call a boxing match. You know when you see certain fights and you see certain fighters, they have a certain amount of skills and they bring certain uh, level of intensity and drive to their fights and you got to call it how you see it you can't call it just purely based on favoritism but like i said if you switch some of the scenarios you might have a different outcome but in this case i think uh bats takes it completely um and uh i don't know that's my that's my idea for this fight um i guess in the comments put down what you think if you, if you disagree with me, go ahead, blow it up. Disagree. If you agree? Go ahead, blow it up. Tell me what you think. Alright, I'm out.